ladies and gentlemen today we'll be looking at the Volkswagen Golf 7R in today's review we'll be telling you a bit about this vehicle the price monthly cost of ownership fuel capacity the 0 to 100 and the kilos of this vehicle and one of the most important aspects of this review is the is this vehicle worth buying so without any further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get on with this review as I came across this vehicle, the one one of the most important things that attracted me to this vehicle is the beauty of the Golf 7R. And without any hesitation, I said, let me go look at this vehicle. But once I saw the price and the kilos, I became a bit doubtful because it didn't sit right with me that, that this vehicle is a 2018 model. But the price and the mileage don't correlate because it has a higher mileage and a lower price. And I understand that's how vehicles are mostly priced. But then, for a 2018 model vehicle, this vehicle should be priced a bit higher and have less mileage. This vehicle costs 315,900 rands, and that's the retail price. I will get to the monthly payments later on in the video. And it has a mileage of 185,329 kilometers on the clock. And understand me, that's a lot for a vehicle which isn't even a decade old you understand me and a lot of vehicles which are more than 10 years old have lower mileages now let's get into the monthly cost of ownership of this vehicle this vehicle will cost you 9811 rands and 30 cents per month including fuel and insurance and at the end of the monthly repayments this vehicle would have cost you 706,413 rands 60 cents at the end of the 72 months and with the fuel capacity of 55 liters this vehicle will cost you per month on fuel 1256 rands comma 25 cents one of the most amazing things i love about this vehicle is that it has a high fuel range with a fuel range of 794 kilometers once you put a fuel full tank in this vehicle look at those astonishing front led headlights but the acceleration of this vehicle from a 0 to 100 kilometers is 5 seconds with a top speed of 250 kilometers and one of the most amazing aspects about this vehicle is that it has a 2 liter turbo petrol engine with a DSG transmission and it drives on all four wheels and that is one of the upsides that I could, I could say about this vehicle. Other than that, nothing excites me that much. But one thing I could say about this vehicle is that overall it looks good on the exterior. I haven't experienced and seen the interior or the engine of this vehicle. But one thing I could tell you, never be fooled by the looks of a vehicle because you will never know the problems such vehicles have. It may look amazing and beautiful on the outside, but you will never know what, ha what is going on on the inside. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to share, subscribe, like the vi and like the video because next week we'll be reviewing another vehicle, maybe, maybe not at Webikers and for our old subscribers, please share this video and for new subscribers, please also share this video and please tell your friends and family to subscribe. Thank you for watching this short and honest review. We'll catch you later ladies and gentlemen.